Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, we show you how to add a day restriction to your form. But first, let's quickly go over the table of contents of this video. Getting started. Install and activate the plugin. It's already activated, you can see. Next, we create a new form to set a specified range date. Give the page title. In the form editor, you can see the day restriction tag. Click on it to add a day field. Get an example for a specified range days by making the next appointment. You can customize the name, day format, day format. Set the mean day. There are three times. No, there will be no day limit for selection. Users can select past, present, and future days. Current day, it means that you want to restrict users from selecting a day before the current day. And the last one, set day. You can choose any days as minimum and maximum day. Pick the mean day. And pick the max day. Insert tag. Save and create a page to see a preview. Look at the result. Moving forward, we go to the how to link today pickers. It means when you select a day, the B day picker should only allow days on or after the selected A day. Get an example. Step 1. Set up check in day field and choose min day. Step 2. Set up check out day field and choose max day. Step 
Step 3. Type the name field of check-in date to link link field of check-out date. Step 4. Type the name of check-out date to link map fields of check-in date. Or you can do like we are doing. Save and have a preview. Next, we head over to the adding exception. An exception works with both selectable days and unselectable days. If the, if the accepted day is selectable, it will now be unselectable. If the accepted day is unselectable, it will now be selectable. We take the previous example. Step 1. You read the document and copy the format. I choose 27 for an exception. Save and see. It becomes unselectable. You can see here. I continually choose 20 seconds as an example. You can see it can be selected. So we have gone through all the parts. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.